hello guys i am back uh, this is a quick video good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day all right guys we already know what is trending the reason why i'm making this uh, video for you guys though i will give you a little clip of uh, that interview remember uh, there was supposed to be a cnn interview with peter obi and then the, um, i think that interview was postponed twice and then it gave room uh, to opposition um, about the interview but guess what um, though I didn't want to inform you but I had an information that um, the interview will be today around uh, 5 uh, Nigerian time that is um, 5 p.m. and then um, it was already a few minutes to 5 so I didn't want to update you I quickly wanted to wait uh, so that I will give you guys uh, a clip of that interview okay so I will make available for you uh, the full interview but just to you know clear the doubt of some critics let me share um, a clip of that interview for you guys uh peter Obi is doing very well uh being this is not the first interview peter b is um granted all right he has been traveling around the world and the critic says um peter b is busy traveling while uh Tinibu is doing uh, his campaign and consultation but uh, people see Peter Obi as the eyes. In fact, the best candidate so far. Okay, you will hear it uh, yourself. I quickly want to share a clip of this interview uh, with uh, Peter Obi. That is Zen uh, with uh, Peter Obi uh, for you guys. So make sure you subscribe, share. Uh, maybe uh, with this one, all right, it will um, be able to clear. Uh, doubt of some critics okay however let me know what you guys think see you in another update certainly the most popular presidential candidate in nigeria right now among young people there is just so much momentum behind you but here's the problem nigerians are used to being disappointed by their leaders and when you think about some of the problems that are facing the country right now they're systemic I'm talking about corruption, I'm talking about oil theft, I'm talking about insecurity, I'm talking about the fiscal hole that Nigeria is in right now. Can all of that really be solved by one person? Well, if you have a leader that is competent, have the capacity and commitment to start dealing with it, you're not going to solve it overnight. But there will be a clear, visible, measurable attempt to deal with it. And they are not they are things that are sovereign. They are things that can be dealt with decisively. But you have to have a, a leader that, if you look at what he's been able to do in the past, you can say, yes, 